What up, my peeps? Your girl, Be Nice Tea, coming straight at you from Channel 54, like I'm now 54, the channel Lima's Fulufa, the Chanel Liman Boot Appa, and the channel O Sheep Sa. That's the intro, guys. I hope that when I say it, you guys are saying it along with me. All right, it is What's Up? What's Happening Wednesday, midweek? And you know, we love it because it tells us that, that the week is coming to an end. Fighting. Push two more days, y'all. Oh, we love the weekend. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> Last night I had a good night. I was able to catch up on a lot of my anime. So I am one happy camper this morning. Let's get it started. This week is going to be um, oldies week. So our song for today is um, Best of My Love by The Emotions. All girl group back in the days, 50s and 60s. And they are just fantastic every time i hear that song you got the best of my love whoa whoa yeah i whoa whoa i don't say it. i get up and whoa whoa because that song makes me want to get down get down mm. okay so today is the parade for the la rams you know i don't know if they have much crowd patrol out there but I hope they do, because we don't want anybody to get hurt. We don't want any looting or anything. We just want to be happy that the Los Angeles Rams are champions of the Super Bowl. Okay, can we all just get along and be at peace and be happy with them? All right. Um, let's see now. Um, I'm going to update everybody on my anime real quick. Caught up on Demon Slayer, the last episode. I'm so sad. We got to wait for, I don't know, what, another year for another season? No, not me, not today. I am going to continue reading the mangas to find out what's going to happen. Did I cry on the last episode? Yes, I did. If you haven't seen the last episode, get off my lawn. Shame on you. Y'all should watch it on Sunday when it comes out, even though I just watched it yesterday. But I watched it. Spoiler alert, I'm going to let you know that I cried. The brother and sister tag team duo demons, they died. I mean, I'm glad they died because either they did or Tanjiro would. And Tanjiro and his friends, they're the stars of the show. So they ain't dying. Anyways, so the brother and sister demons, they died. And um, they were arguing when they were dying. And uh, the brother got mad at her. And he was like, leave me alone. Don't follow me. I'm not going to take care of you no more. And then... She threw a fit and was crying. No, brother, please. I'm sorry for what I said. She jumped on his back and she was like, wherever you go, I'll go with you. You promised we were going to be together. So they died together. It was so sad. I was crying. I really felt for them. And I'm so glad that they stuck it out together as a brother and sister duo. Okay. So that was my update on um, Demon Slayer. I also saw the last episode, the new one of Attack on Titan. Aaron, I still don't understand what you're trying to do. He's trying to kill off the whole world and just let his Paradise Island people where he grew up survive. What about everybody else? No fair, no fair. Oh. So um, him and Mikasa, they're my favorite. I'm just hoping they can get along. If, if um, Mikasa can't get with um, Aaron, can she just please get with Levi? Those are my other two favorite people. But I did see some spoiler alerts, and I don't think it's going to go my way. But oh well, that's how it goes. So, in the anime world for Attack on Titan, yes. Everybody's trying to stop Eren, and uh, let's see what happens. Gabby, she's still alive, even though she shot Eren, but he came back alive. She shot Sasha. Sasha died. Can somebody shoot um, Gabby? No, I was kidding. She's a little kid, but man, she'd be killing off the most important people or my favorite people on the show. Anyways. If you want to know more, watch it, Attack on Titan. I am also going to read the mangas to that, too. And then I was able to catch up on Black Clover with Asta and Yuno. 170 episodes. I am on 157. You best believe I'm going to finish this week. Getting exciting, guys. It is getting exciting. And let's see. What else do I have for you guys? Oh, I was so upset that nobody was able to finish the game last Friday. All of my cousins who are my age or older, y'all know you know the answers to those to those games that we play come on what happened nobody wanted to play no winner winner chicken dinner for last week unfortunately big shout out to my cousin Aina she's the one who tried and attempted to get all the answers to the game but she had to give up she was getting a headache I get it Oos. I get it so okay guys get out your pen and paper here are the answers for part one of our game name that 50 60 70 show number one Gilligan's Island number two the Lone Ranger Number three, different strokes. Number four, the monsters. Number five, chips. Six, good times. Number seven, 
to his company. Now, who can't remember Chrissy, Janet, and Jack Tripper? Come on. Number eight, Dallas. Number nine, Carol Burnett Show. I even forgot that one. Number 10, The Twilight Show. I forgot the name of that one. Number 11, Sanford and Son. Number 12, The Facts of Life. Number 13, Brady Bunch. Number 14, Laverne and Shirley. Number 15, The Waltons. 16, I Love Lucy. Number 17, The Honeymooners. Number 18, Charlie's Angels. Number 19, Bewitch. Number 20, Bonanza, one of my dad's favorite shows. Number 21, Dukes of Hazard. Number 22, Little House on the Prairie, Laura Ingalls, okay. Number 23, Happy Days, The Fonz, A. Number 24, Mr. Ed, The Talking Horse. Now, I did not watch that show, but yeah, that was that one. Number 25, Mork and Mindy, Nano Nano. And number 26, The Love Boat. Yeah. So that was part one of the games. Now, let me go to part two, because I think for Aina, part two was the one that gave you the hardest time, right? Part two was um, shows also from the 60s and 70s. So number one was The Land of the Lost, Tommy, Will, and Holly. Mm -hmm. And then the ape-like looking boy, his name was Chaka. And then the lizard-like people with the big eyes, they were called Slee Stacks from the Land of the Lost. And then the next one with the dolphin was Flipper. And then the boy in the next picture, his name was Buddy. He was also from Flipper. Then the cartoon with the monkeys was Mon Chi Chi Mon Chi Chi. That was um, one of my favorite cartoons. The next one is Alice. And the one after that, number eight is Eight is Enough. Number nine was the greatest American hero. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Never thought I could feel so real. I know you guys know that song, and that was what the show it was from. Then the next cartoon was The Littles. We are the Littles. That was one of my favorite cartoons. And the other one was um, No Roger, No Rerun, No Rent. And Dee with her smart mouth. Dwayne with his natural fro. And we got Shirley. The um, the waitress at the um, Rob's place, the burger joint. Then we got Roger. Then we got Mabel, Mrs. Thomas, and Rerun. Can't forget Rerun. And that was uh, what's happening. And then our last show, number 12, was Webster. All right, guys. So that was it. Those were the shows. Sorry it was hard. I was just hoping that we'd get more people to, to get the answers because it was back in the day. So, um, excuse me. So those are the answers to our to our game. So this Friday, we're going to have another game. And you know how it is. Let's hope that we can get a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Want to give a mad shout out to my homegirl, Sue Sua. Happy birthday. She turned 65. Not today. I think the day before. Or maybe even on Valentine's Day. But I want to wish her a happy belated birthday. She's one of my favorite people. And um, I'm glad that she reached the age of 65 and hope she's blessed with many more wonderful years to come. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys did on Valentine. Ain't nobody writing, nobody commenting below. Let me know what you did for you and your other. Come on now. And on Black Clover, I wanted to share that. There's the song on there. Their theme song for Black Clover for these last episodes is from TXT, Shine Like a Diamond, Shine Bright, or Shine Like a Diamond from TXT. And I was so excited when I saw it. Um, they are like the junior group of uh, BTS. So I was so excited when I saw that. I'm like, yes, let's go, let's go. Um, let's see. I did see Marry Me. It didn't do so good in the box office. That was J-Lo's picture, but I liked it for what it was. A cute love story with Owen Wilson. It was nice, and I enjoyed it and gave me an excuse to eat some popcorn. Mm -hmm. But the movie I'm going to watch now, it's not a new one. It's called 355. One of my co-workers um, suggested I watched it, and she says, I watch it. She says, it's like Ocean's Eleven, where the women are like in control, and they're trying to um, you know, complete their missions and stuff. So 355. I'm going to watch that. I think it's on Prime. I don't know if it's in theaters. Like, might be gone already. All right, guys. That's my update for today. Hoping everybody has a good what's up Wednesday. Hopefully that LA Rams parade, everybody's safe. 
please wear your mask, everybody. COVID is still out there. Is it real? It is. All right. Let's make it a great day fighting. Let's get through the week. And what do I always say to y'all? Sarang who? Sarang hey. Oh, yeah. Make it a good day. And I'm out, y'all. Bang, bang, bang.